Whenever we think of dinosaurs, we envision a creature that is nearly a hundred times larger than a chicken and much wilder than a chicken. We often think that when they lived, they would have eaten animals and be angry all the time. And they would have had teeth sharper than any other animal on Earth. But what if I told you there was a dinosaur that was different from any of this we have assumed? Would you believe me? Well, probably not. But in today's video, we're going to show a dinosaur that was probably one of the weirdest ones to have ever lived on the planet. So make sure to watch this video until the end. Scientists have always been fascinated by dinosaurs, and they've been able to discover a great number of new species over the past few decades. Some dinosaurs, however, stand out from the rest due to the unusual physical characteristics they possess that set them apart from the others. And Amargosaurus is one of these dinosaurs that lived hundreds of millions of years ago during the early Cretaceous period of time and can be considered to be among the best known species of animal. Amargosaurus was one of the most bizarre dinosaurs that ever walked the earth and was known for its morphology, which consisted of two rows of long spines running down the back of the dinosaur, a feature that was unique and distinctive. As a sauropod dinosaur, Amargosaurus weighed approximately 10 tons, measured around 30 feet long, and stood about 15 feet tall. In terms of size, it was a relatively small dinosaur in comparison to other sauropods. But what it lacked in size, it made up for in terms of appearance. It turns out that Amargosaurus was a giant dinosaur that had a back that was covered in large, blade-like spines that were about a meter in height and stood up vertically from its back. In fact, it's believed that these spines were made of dense bone, which made them strong and resilient, and that they were covered in a layer of keratin, which is the same material that can be found on rhinoceros horns. Although no one knows for sure what these spines are intended for, several theories have been proposed in order to explain their purpose. It is believed that they may have served as a means of self-defense, deterring predators from attacking the dinosaur as they fought. As a matter of fact, some people believe that the spines were used as courtship displays used by Amargosaurus in order to attract mates. But various scientists have even suggested that the spines of some dinosaurs might have served to regulate the body temperature by allowing air to pass over them, cooling the body of the dinosaurs. Even though there have been numerous speculations surrounding Amargosaurus' spine, it's clear that Amargosaurus was a herbivore, feeding primarily on low-lying plants and vegetation. Having a long neck and a small head allowed it to reach the ground and browse for food. At the same time, its strong legs and sturdy body allowed it to move through challenging terrain and support its weight. However, that was simply about the body itself. If we talk about the origins of that dinosaur, Amargosaurus was discovered in 1991 by the La Amarga Formation in Argentina. According to the location where it was discovered, the dinosaur's name means La Amarga Lizard. Many fossils have been discovered since its discovery, which has provided new insights into this unique and mysterious animal. So, Amargosaurus is undoubtedly one of the most bizarre dinosaurs to have walked the Earth ever since it was discovered. Due to its unique spines, which were used for a variety of purposes, this creature is incredibly fascinating and interesting. Although it is possible that scientists will never be able to determine the exact purpose of these spines, their presence is a testament to the incredible diversity and evolution of dinosaurs and a reminder that there is still so much to learn about these fascinating creatures. I believe that Amargosaurus, as well as the many adaptations he evolved to survive in his environment, is a great reminder of how diverse dinosaurs were and how diverse their environments were. What do you guys think? Tell us in the comments. And that's it for today's video. We hope that you found the video informative and interesting. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more such videos like this. And don't forget to press that bell icon to never miss an update. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then,